What's going on everybody? It's Jay Wilson. I'm just going to double check that this sucker is live so I can read some of the comments. And then we are going to skate this small little glass aquarium. I mean, it's very thin, uh, this glass aquarium, based on what you folks think. So either we're going to use some rocks to stage it, or we're going to use a background, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let me double check all this stuff, and then we will fire it up. I want to make sure everybody can hear me, and of course, well... I need to see you talking for me to know that you can hear me. So you can see me on the computer now, which is good. Let me know if you can hear me once I get some folks in here. I know it's lunchtime. I know it's Good Friday. Actually, no, you guys can hear me because I can hear myself on here. So you're good. All right, folks. So let's do this. Once we get some folks in here, um, we'll then start talking a little bit. Adam C., what's up, my friend? Uh, we'll just talk about what I've brought to the table and kind of where you think I should go with this little aquarium that's going to be placed right here. But super fun, super exciting. I've never done this before, so there's a possibility of failure, which eh, is, it is what it is. Uh, so this is about nine by nine, and I'm thinking this is about seven, eight gallons, um, roughly. It's really nice, cool aquarium, but I left some of the foam on the bottom, but everything is emptied out, and uh, we'll rock and sock. Adam C., what is cracking, my friend? So I've got some dirt here, uh, just some aquarium dirt that we got at a, an aquarium show. Shoot, I don't even remember when. Just opened it, put it in the bucket. It says you don't have to wash it, which is really neat. Lisa Aqua, what is going on? Vito Pompilo, Brandon Mack, Adam Hudson, what's going on, folks? So then I've got some rocks here, uh, which we're gonna use possibly. Uh, it literally is going to be up to you. I've got a couple of options. Uh, we've got a little bit of rock here so we can kind of make that dramatic look. Uh, or I've got a background. So the background is really neat. Um, and the background is going to be able to fit right back there just like that, but not on the outside. Um, just something sort of like this. So let's see kind of what it looks like first. This is foam. So the foam is very weak in terms of putting it in an aquarium. Typically it's used for uh, reptiles, small amphibians. Uh, let me make sure I've got it. They don't always run flush just because of the foam. So that bad boy is in there. Now, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, what do we got going on? Candy, what's going on? No, no, there's there's no DIY action here at all. This is all stuff that's prefab, prefab rock, some, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of stone this is. Some dirt, uh, this is not organic dirt. It's, I, it's from Europe somewhere. A plant, I was thinking maybe a plant could come out of the top. And then I have this amazing, super high tech, not even close to high tech, little filtration. It even tells me I have to keep the tank water level to this in order for it to work. So I uh, really can't go wrong with this stuff. So what do you folks think of this? Um, not all my stuff is DIY. <laughs> what do you think of this in the aquarium? It looks pretty cool. The only thing is this aquarium is going to face me. So you're going to see when you walk up to the desk, which really doesn't matter because, well, I'm the one viewing the tank. But you'll see this open. Now I can get a, a black piece of vinyl and put this here. Um, or we can just leave it just like that. Now that would, that would be some fake grass that I'm just going to throw in here. So we'll, we'll do it both ways. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll decide what will work better here. So kind of gotten, you know, this nice little action. Maybe we don't put the plant in here. This plant goes away. Uh, the filtration will go just right here. Now, with any background, sometimes you're going to, oh, look at that. Look at how, look at how fantastic that was. Huh? How great is that? That shows you that sometimes the cheapest stuff, because it's inexpensive, is cheap. So we're not putting a filter on it today. <laughs> um, well, that sucks. But I do have another one. Uh, I came as a set, so definitely don't try to bend that in any way, shape, or form. That thing's piece of uh, that's good. <laughs> so we can do it this way, or I'm going to take this out and maybe we can stage up 
and put some stuff. Let me know what you think. So somebody asked, what are we stocking it with? Are you gonna put haps and peacocks in that bad boy? Absolutely, I'm gonna put 17 haps. Uh, I'm really gonna be filtering this thing pretty uh, epically. I'm gonna have a penguin bio wheel. Uh, it's gonna go on here and uh, I'm gonna get some haps and mabimina and uh, maybe some um, maybe some peacocks. They're gonna go in here and, and I think they're gonna do great because overcrowding is highly necessary when you're talking about African chicklets. Okay, <laughs> so I don't know what I want to put in here. I mean, granted, I understand the size of the aquarium, so I have to be open to a lot of that stuff. Uh, not an Oscar. Um, I hope not too small, perhaps. No, I think it. I, I think it plays a huge role. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put an emperor cichlid because you know doing stuff nobody else does is rather cool, right? We'll just get that bad boy in there. And we'll feed him some hamburgers and some kosher hot dogs. Huh? You want to do that? No. I hope I don't break the aquarium like I broke that filter. That would suck. Um, how about a black arowana? Mm, I'm thinking about a red one. I think he'd be really nice. He'd put himself into like a figure eight in here. And he could just hang out. No. Folks, I got the aquarium knowing it would be okay on the desk. And of course I know you folks are joking and I'm joking as well. But I want to put something or some things in here uh, that would go really well. So how about a goldfish? Goldfish are great. It's not my thing. Um, I guess nothing else would be my thing outside of African cichlids. But let's think outside the box. What do you folks think I could get in here? Just smash it in there. <laughs> Cherry shrimp. Cherry shrimp's okay. Um, Rand John said put one beta. It's a good idea. We can name him and he can enjoy his life here at the desk right next to me while I talk to him all day. So let me pull this stuff out and then we'll kind of stage some things up and then you tell me what you think and, and how you want to escape this tank. And if you have any questions along the way, watching your live stream on the beach, loving life, you son of a biscuit. How are you gonna say that? I'm inside a cave filming a video and you're on the beach just having a good old time. You're a jerk. That's all I have to say. Uh, so Rams, I don't know if this is big enough for Rams. Josh Cunningham, what's going on? How about a large Venustus? I can make that happen. I can just put the one Venustus in here and take a photo and see how much hatred I get. <laughs> um, jerky boys. Uh, background is pretty awesome, but not available in India. Aloha, brother Jay. You said scape a tank with that Hawaiian theme, my brother. I don't even know what a Hawaiian theme would be. Um, I have volcanic sand. Um, I have the pigeon rock. I don't, I, I don't know what a Hawaiian skate theme would be. I don't have any volcanoes. I don't have any grass skirts. And, um, but just so you're aware, I will be in Hawaii in about two and a half weeks. I'll be on the island of Oahu, so if you want to meet up at a local fish store, I'll be doing a couple local fish store tours just to check them out, uh, but let me know. So let's get this bad boy out, see what you folks think. How about an Oki Finoki Pygmy Sunfish? What? I don't even know the uh, design of that thing. Is that real? Uh, <laughs> so let me get this out without breaking it like I broke the filter. So remember, if you're going to put foam in your aquarium, Make sure you have no center braces and that you're firm and even pressure all the way so that you don't pop the foam. Yeah. I didn't want to break that. So let's pull this stuff out. Now, ideally, I have one more of these aquariums. I'll have to buy more filters, which I can get. Uh, that really is a bummer. Hey, that's, you suck, okay? That sucks. So let me get the staging rocks in, let's see how it works, and then we'll go from there. Sand would be more appropriate look along with a few stones. One small internal filter with a spray bar. I'd have to order that. I don't have that readily available. I was hoping that thing would work, and I was hoping that I could just get a few little fish, or maybe a singular beta as someone suggested. I would put, oh man. I did that last time too. Let me go ahead and uh, back that out. There we go. Um, sand would be more appro appropriate. Why do you think sand would be more appropriate than dirt? 
Um, just curious. I'm gonna have the dirt on hand. I have some sand on hand. Uh, matter of fact, I can go get sand. I have some sand right in the hallway in this other aquarium I can take out and put right in here. Uh, but let me know, seriously, like what are we doing? Half moon male beta, let's do this. It's gonna be a beta tank. I've had a few people say beta, put a tank in your son's room. That's already happening, but we're not finished with my son's room. So let's get these staging rocks in here and see what happens. So the reason why I would use these staging rocks, I guess you can call them whatever you want. I'm gonna put this this way. Um, but I'm calling them staging rocks just because it's gonna help me stage the tank with the way I want to. So I'm gonna back this all the way up. Kind of put this right here. And the only reason I would be doing this is because when I put the dirt on a mound and kind of give this look, so I don't know if you can see that from the side. What do you think? This, this was all covered in dirt. Let me push this stuff back. Maybe we can get this sort of going like this. I just think that takes up a lot of room. And then if I put a couple small rocks down at the bottom, I just don't know if that's ideal. Let's see this. So maybe we do something like this. I don't know, we can probably put rocks. You know what? Screw it. Since we're doing it live, screw it. So, <laughs> ideally, I wanted something that kind of went down just like this. So since we're just going after it, we might as well just go after it, right? So we've got some rocks here. Nothing's gonna slide down because I have that, I don't know, brick if you will, down there. What about that? What do you think? Maybe I'll kitty corner it. Now you can see it from all angles. Man, that dirt. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that? Put the tank in your son's room. Nope. Sand will be better. Better booyah. Brada, come on Hawaiian theme. Put one. Huma numa numa nuka apua'a. Yeah, no, I'm not, not putting a lagoon trigger fish in here. I won't do salt. That's for the guy that does the salt over there. He's, he's always salt baying it up in there with his hands and Looks like he dumps milk. Um, I don't know, I, it's not my thing. So if you're staging rocks, I think a nano planet looks good. Um, how about a sorority beta tank? <clears throat> I, YOLO, you only live once. <laughs> Jay, have a good one, gotta get back to work. And I wanna get to my son before he gets a shark attack. Yeah, please don't allow your son to have a shark attack on the beach right now. So what do you think? Background with some dirt on the bottom and a really nice colorful beta or beta, however you want to say it. Or should we kind of keep it like this? And I can still do a I can still do a male beta. But I mean what I like about fake stuff, you know, people say, eh, fake, but what I like about fake stuff is for me as I'm learning, it's very forgiving doesn't die um, but I like real fish so let me see if I can kind of squeeze this over to the side <laughs> eh, I think that looks all right what do you think so look at it tell me what I like I really like that scape a lot I uh, definitely like the, the rocks like that okay so now we're going, is fine sand better? I don't think fine sand is better because it gets kicked up into the filter a lot. That's why I don't use it in any of my African tanks. You know, people will use pull filter sand because it's inexpensive. Uh, I find it to be a nuisance because like I said, it does get kicked up a lot. Uh, the only thing that I'm gonna change on here if we're gonna keep it like this is I need to get rid of that. So, when I get rid of that, I'm just gonna kind of shift everything forward, allow the dirt to fall backwards. Now we've kind of got this. This is the way the tank will be, kitty cornered. 
right on my desk. I think it looks fancy, uh, looks really nice. You're, you're viewing it from the back. Um, I like it. I think it's a you know I think it's a lot of room for a, a singular beta, but that's kind of the way I'll be looking at it in my office by my desk. Let's see, get one rock under the big one as it could slide. Um, amazing Jay, I like it. Beta, what is that at the back? That is the that is this. I called it a staging rock. I don't know. If, I'm not an aquascaper, guys. I do African sickness. We throw friggin' big rocks in there with big fish, and then we call it a day. This is this is something new for me. Uh, I'm having fun with it. I think it's really cool, and I think I have the ability to put another one. I don't know what I'll put in there, but so this is just rock that I took from Stuart Dunn. He doesn't know. Hopefully, he doesn't watch this, or he's looking for it. But it's. It's what's just stone. That's all it is. It's bricks of stone that I used to put it under there. So I can put, somebody suggested putting a rock under this rock. So hypothetically, I can do this. So let's do that. Do this over here. This little ditty here. Um, and I really don't need another one. I don't know. I think I like it like this. So there's the rock so it doesn't slide. Put another rock. I mean, we don't even need that much rock in there. Let's just do that. Is that better? For the folks, at least you're having fun. That's what matters. Curbescence. Um, I, I said that wrong, actually. Um, I don't know if I would put those in there. I don't know enough about them. Uh, the incline will look good. Uh, of course, what I do know, because it's normal with anything, this will sit, once it fills with water, it'll go lower, so I'll have to add more to kind of get that look again. Um, I think I've got what I want to achieve. Uh, now I just have to find, I think the sand I got is too fine. And it's up to you, that's all personal preference. But, so now I gotta figure out where to get the beta. I'm gonna sit down and kind of discuss it. Let's, let's talk about one where I should get the beta. Hopefully this tank doesn't leak. Uh, we did not, Universal Rocks did not make this tank. Um, I had this tank before I moved. And um, as you can see, the filter that came with it was super cheap. So I can only imagine that this aquarium is super cheap. So I'm hoping that there is no leaks when I go to fill it up. Uh, maybe what we'll do is I'll fix some more things on it, make sure everything looks good, get the filter in, and then we can fill it up live on Friday. Or I can fill it up and then get it cycled so that when I do get the fish, everything is good to go. So Aquabid has a lot to choose from. It's cool, but why not real plants? So one of the reasons why I steer away from real plants here uh, at Universal Rocks is the elements change so drastically. It's really hard, it's an open factory. Uh, it's really hard for me to be able to control the environment totally. So if I can keep these small plants in here that will look real, because I'll probably bury them a little bit more. Um, you know, this isn't the final. This isn't the final deal. I'm gonna kind of redo it. I just wanted to see what you folks thought. This is out. I can always do this in the next one, and we can pick more fish. Um, I thought about doing a plant from behind so that it would come out of the aquarium. Let's see what you think here. And I mean, there's so many different things that I can do. Uh, this might not even be a bad idea to just to stick it right here behind it comes out of the water uh, Looks really good. And then I can continue working on understanding plants. What I don't like doing is just doing something because It's cool or doing something because it's catchy. I want to make sure that I fully understand it before I get into it Let's see life with pets has her uh, Koi betas on her website cribs are dwarf colorful cichlids. I, I know what they are. I just I don't know enough about their characteristics. So it's the same thing before I got the angelfish, before I got the tetras, before I got the quarries, I researched, I talked to people. Yeah, they're cichlids, I get it, but it's, I still wanna know more about them. They, they have their own traits. I wanna know, do they, if they're sick or they're agitated by something, they do, do they display something differently than other fish? And that's what I've done over the years with African cichlids is I've done a lot of research, 
I've understood them, I continue to work with them, and then I understand as I go to be able to help. Um, just to get something, to get something for the shock and awe value is, is not something I wanna do or because it's something completely different that I've never done. Now I could do a different style video or I could do a, a different take on some things, uh, but getting uh, an alive animal that I don't know enough about that I could potentially just kill, it's not something I want. I could potentially kill anything, but that I, that I would have less chance of keeping alive than if I understood. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, the plant in the background is cool. Ooh, folks, you gotta check out S Whiskey. Uh, Jimmy Slim Jim is the man. He can edit some videos. He's a really cool person to talk to. I still have one of his micro SD cards. He won't let me, won't let me give him back. Um, just an all around good dude. Uh, got a pair of cribs for a small planet tank and they bred in two weeks. Um, that's awesome. Uh, I think that's great. Yeah, the plant in the background is going to be a good idea. Um, Bob, my man. Bob in the crib, little little steam fought aquatics. Uh, what's up, Jay? Background and rocks came in great. Bob, I'm really glad. I hope everything works out. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, folks, I probably won't go to Aquavid for beta. Um, I'll probably find somebody that I could potentially uh, get to know a little bit and, and, and help somebody local. Uh, Aquavid to me is like an eBay and you know, when you get, and no offense to people that sell on eBay, but when you get something like this, that's cheap, it breaks really easy. So hopefully I can find another one of these uh, and get it in ASAP. So let's see here. Gangsta style beta male. I don't even know what a gangsta style beta is. If sand gets in my sump, will that be bad in the long run? I don't know if it'll be bad in the long run. If it gets inside your pump, Absolutely. So if you can keep it outside the pump, you'll be doing much better than if you didn't have it inside the pump. So get a red color beta or green with red tails. I have a red white beta, quite patriotic. Gail, I need to do that. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Let me, let me slide this rock forward and then I'll kind of recap what we're doing here and then We'll end this video, and the next time you see this tank, everything will be a-okay. So we got, got a rock back here. Let's get this bad boy on the on the on the tilt. Let's get this underneath. Good. Got all these rocks holding it up. So boom. What do we think? I mean, I'm gonna need some more dirt on this side, but. Uh, let me get these bad boys out of the way. Good stuff. So, now I'm viewing this awesome little tank while I'm sitting here at work being being annoyed by Tom, the, the aquarium manufacturer. And you, what you can't see is Tom right now. He's, he's peeping above this desk that I have. Um, it's actually rather creepy. <laughs> so... Here's the deal. We aquascaped a little bit. Pretty simple. I mean, look at how, how long is this going to be? I don't even know. It doesn't tell me because I'm not looking at it that way. But So we tried this. We didn't like it. I mean, I thought it looked cool, but maybe it wasn't going for what we were doing. I could do this on the next one because I have another one of these aquariums. And then we did a little bit of aquascaping. I'll kind of turn this around a little bit. And we just made a nice little mix match fake plants. Um, there is, it is dirted, so I could put real plants if I wanted to, um, and I could try with some inexpensive, you know, Anubias, I, I can try that and, and see how that kind of goes out. Um, let's see, I like that, Jay. What does that say? Out of the way. Uh, hey, Tom, come out and show your face, buddy. No, Tom won't do that. Tom's not a camera guy at all. So... Now I, I can have two aquariums. Man, I think this actually looks really neat. I'm gonna grab the camera here in a moment so we can do a 360 look, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna slide everything forward, get some more dirt in there so that when it does settle, um, it still has that really cool look. Get the beta in there. Um, never mind, Life with Pets has one beta left. <laughs> so 
So there it is in all of its glory. Let me grab the camera. I'm going to take this bad boy off. I'll end it with a 360 view up close of this aquarium. And then you folks can enjoy your good Friday, your weekend. Have a happy Easter. And uh, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And hold the door for somebody today. Let somebody in in a lane in traffic. Uh, give somebody extra tip at the restaurant this weekend. Pay it forward uh, if you can. Because sometimes people are battling some serious stuff within and they don't show it. And an extra two bucks or a door hold or letting them in could legitimately change their whole day. Maybe even their whole week. All right. I'm going to take this bad boy off and then we'll do a 360 tour of the little... Eh, we got a name. Oh, God. And we have to name the fish when it comes in. So let's do this. I'll go grab it. And let's rock and roll. Do, do, do. Let me turn off this light. So now you have it. Up close. I think it looks really cool. A little top-down effect. It's going to be an open-top aquarium. Nice. Kind of get that view here. Looks pretty schnazzy. And then we'll come back over here. Get that view. So, I think it looks cool. We're gonna keep it that way. We're gonna decorate it a little bit. I'm gonna get some water, get the filtration going, and then we'll figure out where to get the beta. If you know where to get the beta, leave it in the comments below. Looks semi-Amazon. I think it just looks cool. I, I think the plants are a little too symmetrical, so we'll change that. Um, I think the rocks look good. I may add another rock to the left. And then I'll take some photos, post it on Instagram. I'm going to try to slow down on Facebook, but the top view is pretty cool. We'll look at it one more time. Uh, I'm really excited to see where this tank goes with a little beta. And um, I appreciate you watching. Folks, you know what's next. I'm